Hey y'all, it's Morgan. Welcome to my happy place. So earlier today, we did have uh, a good bit of sunshine, and now we're having a good bit of rain. It's actually a little break at the moment, but it looks like for at least the next week, we are supposed to have a good bit of rain. I think the lowest percentage chance is 60%. So, you know, my poor plants are just waterlogged. Uh, they just too much moisture, lots of humidity. They have had some issues. I know I had the one with fusarium. Um, and, you know, I'm definitely seeing some rot on some of them. And so, you know, what does a good fungus like? Heat and humidity. So I have brought all of my plants indoors, um, just for now anyway. Try to let them recover a little bit not be quite so waterlogged. I have my fowls over here on this table. It's a northern exposure and they do get some eastern light over there. And this is where everybody else is hanging out. So I've got um, my vandas on the front, you know, some of my higher light plants up there and I had the shade down this morning, lowered when it was really, really hot and sunny. Um, but, you know, I've noticed a couple of things. Um, that I need to address. And one of those, I think, and I could be wrong, if I'm wrong, somebody please correct me, but I think I might have a bit of a magnesium deficiency going on with some of my plants. Um, my understanding is that the higher heat can actually uh, deplete it a bit. And I have been a bad orchid mom, I have not been um, fertilizing my plants as I guess most people probably do. I, I have fertilized them, but I haven't been on a real regimen or anything and maybe I need to change that. So I am going to see about getting some Epsom salts to try to help with the magnesium for now. And I have fertilized everybody, I think it was yesterday, and I have actually gotten some fungicides that have come in. So I have mixed those up and I have treated all of my fowls. I've taken them outside and sprayed them down really good before the rain started. But I am going to try to treat uh, the rest of these plants as well. And you know, if you've watched some of one of my other videos, I had some concerns about this cymbidium because it's just not doing well. And I, I actually think, even though they like a lot of light, they don't handle heat well. And it's been pretty daggum hot here. And I think it's starting to get like a little rot and something going on. So I'm going to treat it with the fun fungicides. Um, I'm probably going to do some Epsom salts on it and see how it does. It, it may be that moving indoors is a good move for it. So we'll see how that goes. So I do have my, um, my little cacti and my succulents under there right now. Uh, they're on the front where they get lots of uh, light, even when the shade's lowered. I don't lower it all the way to the to the floor. Um, so anyway, we'll see how it, how it goes. Now, I don't have internet or home phone at the moment. Yes, I still have home phone service after uh, Hurricane Katrina. That was the only, um, we couldn't get out with cell phones. So I swore I would never be without a home phone again. But currently, I am without phone. They should be fixing that tomorrow. And I will upload this um, once they have it fixed. But I hope y'all are having a lovely day. And I just want to thank everybody for sticking around and watching some of this. Um, I hit 50 subscribers today, which is truly amazing to me. I really <laughs> didn't think that many people would even want to tune in. So I appreciate y'all checking out my channel and more importantly, um, sticking around and watching some of these videos and I welcome any feedback and comments so if um, if I'm off base with the magnesium for these plants please let me know you know what y'all think it is I am going to try over the next day or so to treat everybody with the fungicides and see how that goes as well and I will update you as soon as there are any changes thanks again guys bye